Hello, kindergarten. Did you read my favorite story, Little Blue and Little Yellow? Okay, so in that story, we learned when Little Blue hugged Little Yellow, it turned green. Do you think that really happens? We're gonna do an experiment today to find out. So you watch and we'll find out what happens when colors hug each other. Okay, so here I've got some water, clear water. I am going to make our friend Little Blue by adding some blue color to it. Ready? Watch what happens. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Rolling out slowly. Oops, let's swirl it around and see if it turns blue. There's some blue in there. So there's our friend Little Blue. What was his best friend's name? Was it little purple? Oh, it was little yellow. You're right. So let's make little yellow. There's some yellow. We'll put it in. We're gonna swirl it around and mix it up and turn it yellow. Should we make it a little more yellow than that? Let's make it a little brighter. Yellow is going to the bottom, so here's Little Yellow. Now, in the story, Little Blue went out to look for his best friend. Now let's see what happens. Here's Little Blue. Did he run through the park, chase Little Orange? What did he do? But his best friend was Little Yellow. And what happened when he saw Little Yellow? Happily, they hugged each other and hugged each other until they were green. It worked. When little blue hugs little yellow, it becomes green. How about that? I wonder what happens if little yellow hugged its friend little red. Shall we see? All right, let's put that one away. I need a new friend, so we'll put some water in here. So we still have our friend, Little Yellow. But what happens when red comes along? So let's see, I hope this is red. Oh, it's red, nice bright red. I'm gonna swirl it around. Can you see that nice red color? So along, little, Yellow was playing in the woods, having a wonderful time, and along came Little Red. What do you think will happen when they need to hug each other? I think it's going to turn purple. Let's look. It turns orange. Look at that. When you mix colors, you can make new colors. And that's what we're going to do in art. We're going to do a lot of color mixing and playing with Next, if you stay tuned, I'm going to show you how to make your own color story and how to use your paints and how to mix them. See Hello, soon. kindergarten. Here's what you're going to need for your project. Your kindergarten sketchbook, a fat crayon, your new paintbrush, your shape tracers. We have lots of different shapes inside this envelope. Whoop, let me hide inside. And your brand new paints. You'll also need a cup of water. Now, I like to put my water in a little box with an old sponge or a folded paper towel. If it's in the box, it's less likely to spill. So you could take an old baking pan of your mom's and use that. I'm going to put my paintbrush in to soak and put my brush on the side. So I am ready to do my art. The first thing I'm going to do is draw my color story. And I'm going to use a square, maybe an oval, a circle, a rectangle, and a triangle to do my story. So remember in, the, in Little Blue and Little Yellow, the colors played together? Well, I'm gonna make my shapes play together and then I'm going to add color. So to trace them, I just arrange them on the page like that, put my fingers in the middle, 
and press down hard with that big black crayon. Oh, if it wobbles, that's just fine. It doesn't have to be perfect. You know what? I am going to have little triangle hug the square. Trace around it, pressing down hard. I like dark black outlines. Perfect. Fix that up. <gasps> Maybe I'm going to have little rectangle. Hmm. Right about here. He's playing off on the side. Pressing down. Nice big shapes. I think I'm going to have a little circle hug the square. And how does that look? That looks pretty good, though I think it would be nice to have one more shape here. So I'm going to bring in my friend, the oval. Now I have a beautiful shape picture. Okay, are you ready to do your painting? The first thing you're gonna do though, is you're gonna take your nice shape tracers and you are gonna put them away in your envelope so they don't get lost. To paint your picture, the first thing you're gonna have to do is to get your paints wet. So I'm taking my water over here and I'm putting some on my blue. And of course on blue's best friend, little yellow. And I'm gonna use little red here. And I think I'm gonna use some green. I don't feel like using black today, so I'm not gonna get it wet. Now the way these paints work, if you just take one swipe over it, it's kind of pale, it's not very bright. So I like to do it many times because I like my color nice and bright. So I'm going to count. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I want it really bright, I'm counting higher. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I'm gonna paint, oh, that's nice and bright now. I am going to paint a little rectangle all the way over here and you know what my little rectangle whoops i told you i was painting little rectangle and what did i paint i painted the triangle oh do your words get mixed up sometimes like mine now i want a new color so i'm going to rinse 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 in my water and before i touch my next color i'm going to dab and make sure it's really clean a little water now i want to use Little Boo's best friend, little yellow. So, oh, it's too pale. What do I do? I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh, that's nice and bright. Now I can do just next to it, but maybe a little more water. Maybe I will have the two colors hug each other. So going right over the top and it's turning kind of green. Ooh, what color am I going to use next? I'm going to put a little yellow there. Maybe I'm going to put some red over the top. Is one enough? Nope. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ooh, look at those colors mix and blend. Oh, I went out of the lines. Oh no, should I cry? It's fine. It looks just fine. I'm gonna put a little more yellow on top to see, oh, I did, I made it orange. Oh, I like that color. And over here, I think I'm gonna use a little green. In fact, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put a little green right on top. Here's some green. Oh, I like that green. Oh, you know what? It's not very bright. I didn't count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Much brighter. Okay, there's some green. And next, I got some yellow there. I want some more yellow here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Nice bright yellow. Oh, look at that. When yellow hugged green, it made a yellowy green, a lime green, which is actually one of my favorite shades of green. I think that's great. It's just about done. Now I could say I'm all done and I could write my name on the front. So when you send me a picture, I can see who made it. But if I want, I can also add some more color playing around the edge. Have fun, send me a picture of your work, and I can't wait to see it. Bye-bye.